Land degradation is a serious problem facing countries and communities around the world. Luckily, we aren't powerless against it. But to find solutions, we must begin by asking these two questions. Where do we start and how do we proceed? The Restoration Opportunities Assessment Methodology, or Rome in English, was designed by IUCN and the World Resources Institute to help countries and communities answer these questions and prepare for success in restoring degraded landscapes. The first step in an assessment is always to define the problem that restoration should tackle. Are there national objectives or international commitments that restoration can help fulfill? What function of restored land is most desired? Agricultural productivity? Water provision? Rural economic development? The right team to coordinate the assessment can vary, but experience tells us this makeup works well. A team leader who understands the local governance context, an economist, a land use specialist with GIS skills, and a social scientist who understands gender and resource rights issues. The institution that will steer the Rome process could be a government ministry, an academic or non-profit organization. What matters is that it be able to draw on the knowledge of government decision makers, stakeholder representatives, and technical staff from a range of disciplines. They should be placed to ensure that recommendations from the assessment are credible and can be turned into action on the ground. Once the team is assembled, its first goal will be to define the scope and outputs of the assessment. Will it be sufficient for the assessment to produce a map of degraded land in the region? Or will it be important to also conduct further Rome analyses, like considering the costs and benefits of restoration options, or identifying where finance for restoration can come from? It will be important to decide how many analyses the assessment will involve. Based on the agreed ambitions of the assessment, a geographic area can be selected and stratified to the time and resource constraints of the team. Next, the assessment team leads all stakeholders in identifying locally appropriate restoration interventions for each of the geographic areas. A long list of interventions can be made and narrowed down over time as different stakeholder groups add their knowledge and experience. Usually, between 5 and 15 good restoration options will make the final list for analysis within a particular landscape. With these options in hand, the assessment team can then guide stakeholders and experts to determine the criteria that will later be used to identify restoration potential in the assessment areas. These criteria will be the core of the assessment and will determine which land in the region is selected for offering the best restoration opportunities. Some example criteria for evaluating restoration opportunity include how is the land degraded and what are the options for restoring it? Is this land available for restoration or is it being used in some other way? What are the costs and benefits of restoring that land using a particular intervention? Are there any legal or political implications for restoring this land? Actual criteria for identifying restoration potential will be determined by stakeholders during this phase of Rome. Finally, the team can begin planning the next phase of work, data collection and analysis. The team will ask, what data do we need to collect to address our questions? Do we have the right people on our team to get the work done? Or are there partnerships we should make? You can bet a Rome analysis will require finding good spatial and economic data on things like existing land uses and local prices for commodities like crops and timber. But it will also involve filling knowledge gaps through surveys and consultation with experts. This is the time for the team to get their knowledge needs mapped. The first stage of Rome ends with an inception workshop to inform stakeholders of the team's early findings and plans and to formally launch the assessment. This workshop, like the rest of Rome, will be stakeholder driven to ensure that outputs from the work will be valid, influential and productive later on. This is also a good opportunity to explore how these outputs can be incorporated into domestic activities and national plans down the road. With this planning and preparation work complete, the assessment team is ready for stage two, data collection and analysis.